we're gonna do a little cheeky little quick unboxing video unbagging video hello I just got done with work and I'm feeling a little tired and emotionally exhausted from all of this um this flashback into the 80s fear of nuclear war <laughs> Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. This is an official civil defense film produced in cooperation with the Federal Civil Defense Administration. Hey, Bert, come on out and meet all these nice people. I need to be in my happy place, which is right here with you on this channel. I splurged on something. Well, I mean, it's not a splurge. It's not like... I mean, it's it's just a cute little fun purchase that I couldn't resist because it is an article of clothing with a video game on it, a retro video game, one of my all-time favorites. Let's see if you can guess the video game before I unbag it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up making this too easy. I'm always too uh, I make it too easy when I drop hints for trivia, but okay. So you pew 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 at a creepy crawly critter that is. When you see it, you you might have the little hairs on the back of your neck stand up, depending on where you're from. If you are from a southern state, you are likely terrified of this insect. It is an insect. Yes, it is a creepy crawly critter <laughs> insect that is horrifically poisonous in some areas of the world and my country, United States, or just moderately kind of bleh, like something you'd see and be like, ah, when you see it. It is also an insect that the lead vocalist of Tool, Maynard James Keenan, tattooed on his body as kind of a totem because he is terrified of this insect because he lives in Arizona. And when you encounter this thing in Arizona, yeah, it's not gonna be good. Also, in this video game, you are a gnome. You are a gnome trying to shoot down a creepy crawly critter. This is an 80s arcade game. Uh, you would have definitely played it on your Atari systems, and it still, you still often find it in bars, pubs, um, arcades, everywhere. As a matter of fact, Atari still sells this game. You can buy like a $400 stand up, like full console, like that you would find in a pub, which, hello, goals? Yes, goals. Thank you. Um, okay, this will be a dead giveaway. The controller that you would use in the arcades was a little ball. So you'd go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Wiki, wiki, woo, wiki, woo. Let's just do this, okay? This company is called Seven Squared. They're out of the UK. Official licensing, Atari licensing. They work, they work with Atari and get permission to license the logos and the all that fun stuff. And um, wow, it really arrived to me fast. I was very surprised, very impressed with how quickly I received the product. Got a little ASMR going on here. I hate ASMR. Ooh. Ooh. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, just like this critter. I'm so ready. If you guessed centipede, you are correct. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Is that badass or what? Yeah. It's very, very soft. Yeah. Um, hashtag keeping the game alive. Yes. I love it. Very vibrant colors. I'm excited because I'm in love with the centipede. Would you call it a logo? I don't know. I guess logo. So I think you know now what I might be wearing in the very near future um, on this channel. Here. Thumbnail. This is Lily, by the way. Lily, do you like the sweat? Do you like the t-shirt? Lily likes the t-shirt. She's actually licking it. Do you like the t-shirt? Do you approve? Do you approve? <laughs> you like it? She likes to sleep on black clothing, which you would think is good because she has black hair, but no, it still shows up. The next time you see me, I will likely have my first impressions video for Horizon Forbidden West. I wanted to wait a little bit until I played it so I could really get a good idea of how it is and talk to you about it. Um, spoiler alert, I I did get video of me playing the first 10 minutes of it and I legit ugly cried. And I, like, I'm gonna feel so uh, vulnerable <laughs> when I post that because holy crap, it was intense. It was so intense. But I'll talk about that in the next video. 
Anyway, I just needed to break away from the war. When I said that I was feeling nostalgic for the 80s, I didn't mean I was feeling nostalgic for like Cold War, fear of nuclear war, all this shit with Russia type stuff. Like, no, I, I didn't need that. No. Let's just stick to video games and listening to vinyl. Okay, life, let's just stick to that. Putin and what he's doing to Ukraine has turned me into a praying woman. I'm an atheist. And I, honestly, I, I've been sending so much. Like, I, yeah, I've turned into a praying woman. Um, but I'm here to get away from that stuff. This place is a safe space. This is where we don't need to talk about politics. But at the same time, I feel like it would be insensitive not to mark this moment in history as being pretty heavy and pretty deep. And I'm just sending, I don't know, everything I got in my heart and soul to Ukraine, to the Ukrainian people, to the Russian people too. They are good, good people who have a crazy, tyrannical person in charge of their country. And it's scary. My empathy goes out to Ukraine and to Russia, to the Russians who don't want this. It looks like oh, a good deal of them don't want this. Maybe even the majority of them don't. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to get it on record that this is this is a crazy and deep and, and scary time right now. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, when I come back, I likely will be back with a Horizon Forbidden West first impressions video. So um, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, these guys are great. I will link to them in the description below. I'm very impressed with the quality of this shirt. I was impressed with the how easy it was to order it. It got to me very fast considering they're in the UK and I'm in the United States. Um, yeah, if they have more retro t-shirts, I have a feeling I'm going to be building that back up too. I already have an Asteroids t-shirt and um, an old school Japan Atari t-shirt, a Japanese Atari t-shirt, and I have an Atari 50th anniversary t-shirt. Um, those things I had already unpacked. It was before I started this channel that I got all that stuff. So I guess you could say I've got a little bit of a retro fun t-shirt collection going on to, I guess, to um, complement my horror nerd t-shirts and my Disney t-shirts and my comic book t-shirts and Hi, I'm 49 years old, going on 50 in two months, one month. Yeah, anyway, um, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Gen X kid. <laughs> I never know how to start videos and I never know how to finish them. So I'm just going to finish it. Hope you are doing well. The gaming community is incredible and I'm so glad you're here. And I'm grateful for the new people I've met. And I'm grateful that you've come here to hang out with me and chat with me. Um, so tell me in the comments what your favorite old school Atari game is, or just what was your favorite game to play like in the arcade, or just games that you enjoyed in the arcade. Also let me know, or, or let me know what you think of um, Centipede. Is it one of your favorites? Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this t-shirt. Show you one more time. I love the colors. I just love this Centipede. He's so badass. That's really, to people who live in Arizona, this is what a centipede really looks like. Just ask Maynard James Keenan, okay? All right, have a good one. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and bye.